All right, we're going to take you through Torchmate CAD real quick. Uh, we got this uh, loaded up right now, the EDU version, and we're going to take an image, run it through the Scan and Trace Wizard, do a little bit of editing, and uh, hopefully that will get you well on your way to designing your own parts. So uh, let's get after it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab. And, uh, you know, I'm a shop guy, so let's, uh, let's start with Snap-on right here. Go to Images. This looks like a good one. I'll click on that. I like it. We'll right click on this bad boy and we will uh, save the image. We'll save that to our desktop. And I'll get rid of that. We'll come back in here. We'll go to File. And it's Acquire Image and Scan and Trace Wizard. Next. It's going to say uh, Find the File. That's fine. It's going to find the last file that you played with. Uh, over here is File Type. Might have to change that. I did notice that uh, the the GIF file is what I use right here. So there's my Snap-on file. I'll hit Open. Next. Uh, this is where you click in here and you kind of find that threshold. And you kind of got to look at it a little bit because it's kind of hard to, to see, um, you know, kind of what it looks like. If you, you start clicking on there, you don't get anything. You click over <laughs> here, you get a little too much detail. So you kind of want to find something in a happy medium there. And then hit Next. You can see how kind of jagged this image looks like. So typically what I use is I use logo complex with detail. Uh, if I got any of that. And then I hit next and we'll hit apply and we'll see that is perfect. If it didn't work, then you can just go back up here and, and it'll say retrace and you can try it again. If it did work, you can just click finish. All right. So here's my logo. You'll notice right away when I click on it. Um, basically I have everything. So the, the next thing I want to do is break the path. And when I break the path, I can click on individual components. And the first thing I do is get rid of this guy. Because I don't want to cut that out. And this is just for fun. All right. I'm not, I'm not selling these things. So this is just for us to have uh, as a decoration. So that's why we're using it. Uh, from there, basically, if I look at this and I cut this out as is, I'm going to lose... I'm going to lose the center of this A and the P, and it's not going to look very good if I cut it out and I, and I lose all that stuff. Um, so one of the ways to work around this is the quickest and easiest way is to go over here to your shape tools and just make a rectangle that you can kind of size that accordingly to take a chunk of that thing out. And then what you do is you hold your shift key down and you select this. You select probably this because it's gonna. You want to connect it to that, and you want to connect it to the outside. Now, 90% of the time, I use a weld tool, except for this scenario where I want to use the XOR weld. I'll click that. It'll say, "Hey, you're gonna get rid of some stuff. That's fine. I'll hit yes." Another one. It'll say, "Welding more can do weird stuff." Hey, okay. Hit okay. And what that did was it got rid of that, but not this. So then I can just make sure I'm on the pick tool, select that little piece right there and delete it. And I can go through and I can do that for all my other ones. Pretty simple. So I'll just repeat that process again. Oops. Undo. One of my favorite tools ever. Taylor Vienemann, Peyton Draper, Jacob Eggleston, Hannah Hennings, Trey Lansky, Brady Thompson, Colton Chosto, Lexi Velke. Carla Wasepka, Kelsey Young, Hugh Zare, Jess Dunnigan, Grace Hoynes, Rachel Wall Hodney, and Mel Welcoming. The following students to the office, please. Taylor Bieneman, Peyton Draper, Jacob Eggleston, Hannah Hannings, Trey Lansky, Brady Thompson, Colton Chostel, Lexi Belke, Carly Wasepka, Kelsey Young, Hugh Zare, Jess Dunnigan, Grace Hoynes, Rachel Wall Hodney, and Valerie Welcoming. Thank you. And uh, now you can see I basically have that all cut out, so now this letter won't drop all the way out, and that's just uh, another quick way to use some tools while you're creating things. Once that's done, take that bad boy, highlight the whole thing, and uh, go to Arrange and Make the Path. Go to Machine, Create a Tool Path, depending which one you want. I'll use Mail, Basic Cut, depending on your thickness of metal. I'm going to use 130, keep the lead outs standard, and I'll hit OK. And now you can see the outside tool paths of what this thing's going to look like when it cuts out. 
that's all done. You're ready to save this file, attach it to your email, email it over to the plasma cutter, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Hope this thing helps out you. Have a good one.